स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ फॉरन प्रोटीन्स इन इकोलाइन तो इन एडिशन टू अदर फैक्टर्स दैट आर इम्पोर्टेंट तो दिस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द मेजर आस्पेक्ट दैट वी मस्ट टेक इन टू अकाउंट वाइल क्लोनिंग फॉरन डी एन ए फॉर द आइसोलेशन ऑफ स्पेसिफिक प्रोटीन प्रोडक्ट दैट इज हाउ मच इट इज स्टेबल तो दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इनस्टेबिलिटी ऑफ फॉरन प्रोटीन्स इट इज वेल रिकग्नाइज वेन वी यूज बैक्टीरिया एज अ होस्ट ऑर्गेनिजम बिकॉज ऑल दो इट इज एक्सप्रेस बट इट इज ऑल्सो डिग्रेडेड आर बिकम अनस्टेबल एट द सेम टाइम सो दिस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द मेजर इश्यू अबाउट द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द फॉरन प्रोटीन्स इन अ पर्टिकुलर host organism it also has been reported that this uh, stability of the uh, foreign protein uh, or even the native proteins it is also dependent upon the location within the cell for example ye dekha gaya hai ki agar proteins jo hain ye cytoplasm mein hon to unki half life jo hai wo 2 minute tak ho और अगर वो पेरीप्लाज्म में हूँ तो उनकी हाफ लाइफ जो है वो टेन फोल्ड इंक्रीज कर जाती है तो द लोकेशन ऑफ द एक्सप्रेस्ड प्रोटीन इट इज आल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट सो डिफरेंट स्ट्रेटजीज हैज बीन यूज्ड टू टैकल दिस प्रॉब्लम दैट इज इनस्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द फॉरेन प्रोटीन्स इन द होस्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म and one of the strategy as i told you that uh, it is the expression of proteins in the form of fusion protein uh, for example here one can quote the example of uh, uh, proinsulin uh, in combination with beta glycosidase so rat proinsulin it can be expressed as fusion proteins with an enzyme that is beta glycosidase so in the form of fusion proteins their stability it is increased and later on the native protein it can be cleaved with the help of a chemical like cyanogen bromide can be used to get the expressed protein from the uh, fusion protein so this is one of the strategy but the overall problem that is related to the instability of the foreign protein Uh, it is because of the protease system of the host organism because if host organism it contain protease then the proteins that are expressed as a foreign proteins they may lack uh, three dimensional structure or the tertiary structure they are not in a uh, in a properly folded state at the beginning so the host proteases can recognize them that they are abnormal proteins and then they are degraded uh, immediately now this problem it can be solved if we use host organism that are deficient from proteases uh, for example uh, in case of uh, a lone protease that is very famous class of proteases l o n r lone protease uh they are atp dependent proteases and they can target the unfolded uh, proteins within the cytoplasm and they can degrade them into individual amino acid and here in this case of lone protease uh, the activity it is atp dependent in addition to that if we uh, want to get the Uh, this uh, foreign express protein then the host organism that are deficient to lone protease uh, they are more advantageous uh, for example uh, lone uh, protease a deficient host host organism has been uh, constructed but again there is problem uh, because the lone deficient uh, protease microbes 
they are showing more mucoid growth that may be problematic uh, during the culturing of the recombinant microbes. In addition to that, there is extensive filamentous growth of the host organism that may be uh, non-viable. This problem has been overcome by using another uh, mutant that is inactivating the gene which is called as the GOL-E uh, the, that uh, play role in the biosynthesis of the capsules. And in addition to that, the cultural conditions uh, can be uh, modify so that uh, the mucoid growth can be stopped. For example, the yeast extract component of the culture media, uh, it can be removed. In addition to that, if we want more stable foreign proteins, then the um, microbes that are deficient of sigma-32 factor that mediate heat shock response, uh, then it can be used to increase the accumulation of foreign proteins. Another factor are protease that is important. It is CLP protease. It is also playing a role in the degradation of different types of proteins. Either they are the abnormal proteins or even the regulator proteolysis. Where the normal proteins under starvation, they can also be degraded. So if we create uh, the mutants that are deficient in proteases, especially lone or CLP proteases, then the accumulation of the foreign proteins, it can be uh, enhanced. Another factor, as I told you that, uh, the cultural conditions of the host organism, it is also very important. If we control cultural conditions, then the proteolysis of foreign proteins can be controlled. मसाल के तौर पर अगर कल्चर मीडिया में न्यूट्रिएंट्स नहीं है स्टारवेशन है तो प्रोटीन्स की डिग्रेडेशन रैपिडली होती है अगर हम नाइट्रोजन का सोर्स या कार्बन सोर्स को कंट्रोल करें तो जो रेगुलेटर प्रोटीलाइसिस है उसको कंट्रोल किया जा सकता है तो इस पर्पस के लिए अगर हम बायो रिएक्टर्स यूज करें दैट आर कॉमनली यूज्ड फॉर द कल्टीवेशन ऑफ माइक्रोब्स इन लार्ज क्वांटिटीज then we can adjust such, such cultural conditions that are related to nutrition, pH, oxygen or other gaseous requirements.